Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to show you how to hook your self-amplified Valcom speaker up to cell phones, computers, anything that uses a 35 millimeter jack or probably RCA would work as well. As you can see, here's your board right here. Put the back can aside. So, what you want is, what Valcom speakers require is, there's a 24 volt adapter you could get, but I didn't want to get it at an adapter, so I used this 12 volt AC adapter right here, and it's just powering down. So you want to look for your output type. This is 12 volts. I don't know if you can see that. 12 volts. This is a 3.33 amp adapter, not milliamps. Amps. So it'll work fine on here. The 24 volts and 12 volts are real common to each other. So, and it has this standard plug, IEC plug you would find on a computer. And then you would hook your adapter up. There's a 24 volt. It says negative 24 volts. That's where your ground will go. And this G and D is your hot. That's your hot lead. Don't get confused because you'll screw this board up. And hard to believe it, this little tiny board is an amplifier. And then there's these other two terminals, tip and ring. I hooked my positive on the tip. And then this ring is your ground for your aux cable, your 3.5 millimeter jack like this. And if you don't believe me, here you go. I'm just showing you the proof right here. Now I have to say that is, these can make perfect computer speakers. I'm not joking. It actually works. And then there's this little hole here is your volume knob. Some of these do come with knobs, but this one didn't. So you could use a flathead screwdriver about this small to get in there and turn it. And there's the little holders right here that hold that knob in place. Just be careful not to over tighten your knob in there because it won't be good. Don't mess your pot up in there. And I'm going to hook it to the computer. These are made for this specific Valcom system, but actually, you could actually hook these up without that system. Hard to believe. You know, it'll even work with the horn too because Valcom makes horns that use these exact same boards. It would also work with that. And then it came with the back can right here. And yeah, this weird stuff is styrofoam. It's very weird looking. It's kind of like a weird texture. And then somebody punched a knockout out. Apparently these, this was used in an office building as the owner claimed. So I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna actually leave it out in the open to show you how it sounds. So I'll test it out by playing a song on the speaker. Now I'll show you it in the back can. Yeah, there you go. This will also work with iPhones. You, even if you want it to as well. You could get another one of these and make both a left and right speaker. This was a speaker I was telling you about in one of my earlier videos that I was seeing about amplifying my TV with. This guy. It sounds really good. I know it's a bit loose here on these nuts. So, yeah. I'll fix those up. Tighten everything down. A little diagram in the back here. I have to say, this is if you're thinking about doing a small little project with amplifying, you can find one of these on eBay for pretty cheap. This one I actually got it for twenty dollars, free shipping, with this back cam with included. 
yeah Falcon's a great pro a great company it's a great company as I'm seeing right here and I see many of these around and they're not being used I don't know why but they sound really good I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe to me